be nice if we got along. If we don't, we don't. But it would be nice. Donald Trump, then a candidate hoping for warmer ties with Vladimir Putin. Now it appears his wish is coming true. He is a brilliant and talented person without a doubt. As President Obama all but accuses Vladimir Putin himself of election-related hacking in the U.S., Trump is finding an admirer in Putin. Putin... Uh... Putin was very excited about Trump's election. I think he even had a brief moment of euphoria. Gleb Pavlovsky was a top Putin advisor for more than 10 years, till he says he was dismissed in 2011 for opposing Putin's controversial third term in office. He says Putin has high expectations for Donald Trump. Putin Putin is expecting an acceptance of Russia's agenda from the new President Trump. That could include less criticism of Russia's controversial intervention in Syria and, more importantly, a possible easing of sanctions imposed by the U.S. and Europe over the crisis in Ukraine. The Russian president even seeing a reflection of himself in Donald Trump, Pavlovsky says. He just likes a strong man, a winner in a situation when no one believed in his victory because that's how it had been with Putin himself. Since his election, Trump has been careful not to criticize Russia or its leader. While blasting China for what he calls one-sided trade relations with the U.S. and a lack of support pressuring North Korea on its nuke program. That China bashing even helps Putin, Pavlovsky says. We don't want to find ourselves in one bed with China. And Trump could help us find a middle way. Both Putin and Trump have a way of playing to the cameras. Trump with his reality TV career, Putin with photos like these showing him braving the outdoors, wrestling tigers and riding shirtless on a horse. Uh, Putin. Putin's character, style, habits are those of a middle-class bourgeois. He is prone to comfort. He absolutely didn't want to be the man who works 10 to 20 hours a day.